in time, there's no such thing as the present. There's only the past and the future. In fact, as soon as I say the word now, as soon as I get to the W in the word now, it becomes then. <laughs> right? So in time, there's no such thing as the past. I mean, there's no such thing as the present. There's only past and future. So I'm either, I'm either reacting to something that happened in the past, or I'm anticipating something that's going to happen in the future, but like now is like it's now is fleeting in time. It's evaporating, perpetually evaporating in time. Okay? That's pretty cool. But when you look at the opposite of that, which is the opposite of time would be what? Eternity. In eternity, there's no such thing as the past and the future. There's only the present. That's why God is called the I am that I am, not the I was that I was or the I will be that I will be, but he is called the I am that I am. Why? Because the past, present, and future are all the same to God. That's why he's the same yesterday, today, and forever, because he is an ever-present God. Isn't that awesome?